Welcome, welcome to another episode of the Gothic Witch's Kitchen. <laughs> what pops in your mouth like little toads when you step on them? <laughs> What's the beautiful color of blood red and reminds you of the gruesome holidays that you must spend with family? <laughs> cranberries. <laughs> I love cranberries. They're tart. They kind of slap you around a little bit. <laughs> I like that. They have gumption. <laughs> Today is going to start my Thanksgiving side series. For the next three weeks, I will be showing you different sides to take to your Thanksgiving meal. Because, let's face it, who wants to eat the exact same meal every single year? We all know about the certain things that come out of cans that people make. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with canned food, but they do need to be punched up a bit. But today, I digress has nothing to do with cans. Today we're making a delightful love that everybody loves. It's called crustless cranberry pie. Although it eats more like a cake and it bakes more like a cake. I do not know why they call it pie except you could bake it into a pie pan because well I, I did not name it. Perhaps I should. <laughs> Anyway, it's a delightful thing. It's very easy and I can't wait to show you. You're gonna love it. It's so deliciously diabolical. <laughs> Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do in this delightful, delightful... Frederick, stop hiding. I see you. Just come out and help for Pete's sake. He's naughty, naughty spider. He's been hiding since Halloween. He got into the candy, ate a little look too much, and got his spider's stomach ache. I've been a little angry at him, so he's been hiding. He's a naughty, naughty little spider. You stay right here and you can help me. You can help me. But no licking the pans until I'm done. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is set our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which I believe is about 175 Celsius. That's so damn easy. <laughs> okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to melt a stick of butter, which is half a cup. <laughs> I'm not having the butter. It's so I love the way butter smells. It smells like all the naughtiness of the holidays. I love it. <laughs> That's freaking easy. <laughs> Anyone can do it. <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to break up a couple of eggs and we're going to beat them together. <laughs> We're going to put the beaten eggs in this small thing right here. <laughs> I love cracking eggs. <laughs> Sometimes it's therapeutic to break things, especially during the holidays when we've been dealing with relatives. I'm going to give that a quick whisk just to stir it up a little bit. We're not going to beat the shit out of them. They haven't been bad eggs. We're just going to confuse them a little. <laughs> Confusing. Discombobulation. <laughs> I love that word. <laughs> okay. In this recipe, we're going to be using almond extract. Now, the original recipe calls for an entire teaspoon of almond extract. But if I, any of you have ever used almond extract, you know that shit packs a punch. What I suggest doing is doing half a teaspoon of almond and half a teaspoon of good vanilla. And that's what we're going to do. Last year I made it with a quarter of a teaspoon of almond and it was very good and three quarters vanilla. It was very good to that way, but I decided I would punch it up just a little bit more to the half a teaspoon. Now, I will tell you, we have a family member that has a nut allergy. This recipe can also be made with chopped nuts. I don't have any. That's for rich witches. But, 
What I was going to say is if you have a family member or a certain favorite witch with a nut allergy, instead of using the almond extract, use orange extract. Everyone knows that orange and cranberries are a delightfully sinful couple. I made one last year with almond and one with orange. They were both, <laughs> dare I say, heavenly. No, they were diabolically delicious. <laughs> they were so good. Both of them got eaten before I knew what had happened. They were gone and everybody wanted more. This has become such a good thing that people request this at Thanksgiving and at Christmas. Mm. If you want to and you don't have nut allergies, make it with the almond for Thanksgiving and make it with the orange for Christmas because citrus goes so well at Christmas time. Okay, so we've got that mixed up and we're waiting for this butter to finish melting. So over here in this, I'm going to put a cup of sugar. <laughs> a cup of sugar. A cup of sugar. The butter is melted, it will come off. We're going to do a cup of sugar. Mm, all the sugar. <laughs> And then we're going to do a cup of all-purpose flour. <laughs> do not use self-rising. This is not a leavened. This is not a leavened type of thing. We're going to do a cup of flour. And in this cup of flour, we are going to do a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was having fun. <laughs> oh, I spilled salt on the floor and now I'm stepping in it. That sucks. So we're going to sift our flour because this is what we do. We do not want any big lumps or anything. And now my stupid ass got all my ingredients out, except for the most important thing, the cranberries. <laughs> I'm not a smart witch today. So now we have our flour, sugar, and salt. And I'm going to give that a quick stir to make sure that that sugar is well mixed in. I think my other whisk is in the dishwasher. Probably clean, but I don't feel like getting it. Into this, we're going to stir two cups of fresh cranberries. Two cups of cranberries. Mm -hmm. I love cranberries so much. I've been waiting for cranberries. Mm -hmm. Oh, cranberries. One. Yes, yes, my master says he's done. One. <laughs> Slippery little buggers. They do whatever they want. They have a mind of their own. I applaud that. We're going to toss them. Look at how beautiful that is. Do you see that? Toss them around in the flour. Make sure they're well coated. If you have nuts, you can stir it in now. Now, we are going to do what we know we're supposed to do, and we're going to temper the butter into the eggs. Just a slow drizzle, start whisking. You do not want to scramble your eggs. Usually what people do when they temper is pour a little of the egg mixture into the actual butter and then pour it back into the rest of the egg mixture, but a slow drizzle will do just fine. I haven't scrambled eggs yet. 
and I've been doing it this way for a long time. If you're worried about if you've scrambled an egg, you can always run the mixture through the sifter when you're done. Now is the time I'm going to coat my pan. It does just says grease, it does not say grease and flour. But make sure the sides are done well. This recipe is so easy it's almost embarrassing. We're going to stir the egg mixture into the cranberries and flour a little at a time. It will make a very, very thick batter. You can use frozen strawberries, if, I mean uh, cranberries. It will make the batter very thick, but I prefer fresh, although we do know that sometimes we crave things in the middle of the year and we do not have fresh ingredients available all year round. So it is perfectly fine to use frozen cranberries. very thick mixture. This is why I don't really understand why it's called pie. This is more of a dough, but it's so beautiful and so delicious. Let me make sure that the spatula can scrape everything off the bottom. We want this to be well mixed. We don't want any patches of egg or dry ingredients. Now we're going to pour it into our prepared pan. I do have a beautiful new glass pie pan, but I have not made this in glass yet. I'm going to have to do a test run on glass because glass cooks at different temperatures than metal does. Look at how gorgeous this is. Mm, see how thick and dense it is? Don't worry, it makes such delightful spongy dessert. This is so good warm with whipped cream or vanilla ice cream. It's tart and sweet, just enough of both, not too much of either. Everybody loves this delight. Everybody loves it. So we're going to pop this into our 350 degree oven. For In my oven, it cooks for 45 minutes. I would start in your oven at 40 minutes and then start checking with a toothpick to see when it's done. Mmm, go and make something delicious and diabolical for us. Yes, yes. I will see you back in 45 minutes. The timer is fixing to go off and it's fixing to be time to test our delightful, delightful concoction. And it didn't take too long. A couple spells and an incantation later and it's already time. How time flies when you're being diabolical. <laughs> oh, sometimes I embarrass myself how easy things are. Now that the timer went off, I... I see you sneaking, Frederick. Don't sneak, you silly spider. You must wait until it cools. Naughty, naughty spider. Oh, isn't this beautiful? I've already turned my oven off because I know that 45 minutes is the correct time. Look at how gorgeous this is. perfectly clean. It's done. Like I said, for me it's for 45 minutes. For you it might be 40. Mmm, look at how beautiful this is. 
It will make everybody so happy, <laughs> so happy. They will beg for you to make it again at Christmas time. I promise, I promise. Mmm, <laughs> so beautiful. Oh, look at that, so beautiful and it smells so good. Mmm. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Gothic Witch's Kitchen. I do hope that you tried today's delight. <laughs> it's so good and so embarrassingly easy. But don't tell anybody how easy it was. They're all going to rave and delight at how delicious it is. <laughs> Thank you for joining me once again. I'll see you next week when we do another Thanksgiving side. That'll punch up the table just a little bit. And there's nothing wrong with some punching. <laughs> Especially during the holidays. <laughs> Good night. I do I always do this? Why do I always forget to get this out? This is the one thing I always forget to fucking get out. Son of a bitch, I just got salt everywhere. Just be patient, monkey. As soon as I get this in the oven, we will eat lunch. No, you can't have that, monkey. That's a runaway. <laughs> Come, my little minion. It is time to make a sandwich. <laughs> mm. You ready to eat? Are you ready to eat? You want to make a sandwich with your mother? Okay. Good girl. Excuse you. You just look at me like I'm stupid, don't you? <laughs> you just think mom's silly, don't you? You think mommy's silly. <laughs> You're a good girl. You're a good girl. You can't hide none because it just came out. You can't has it. I shared part of my sandwich with you. For Pete's sake, what more do you want? <laughs> Silly girl.